so hi everyone so welcome on my youtube channel and this is a experimental kind of thing so i don't know whether you guys going to like this or not but what i am trying to do there is that i am to try i am trying to replicate whatever uh, already available on internet by jasper community and uh, i am just trying to just uh, figure out what is the difference what uh, topic they have covered and then trying to just explain those topic like table and cross tab in jasper studio and uh, jasper studio you guys know like we have uh, did it with it we have discussed about this jasper studio so uh, you know by default there are seven bands apart from these seven bands there is a background and all those things are also there but uh, how to use these see page header and page footer this is comes uh, page header page footer column header column footer detail band is only one summary band is going to one title band going to be one so title band summary band and uh, title band detail band and summary band they are unique and other two like page header page footer page uh, column header column footer they comes in pair so whatever the header will be there then its footer should also be there in jasper uh, report design and uh, based on our requirement we keep some we remove some uh, that's that is always there but let's let's try to understand one of the very complicated thing that is a cross tab what is cross tab or cross tab report and we are going to understand using the example so here like jasper studio can handle simple table or cross tab cross tab are advanced table so they are also table but advanced table where two or more fields are tabulated against one against one another uh, you can just uh, be here you can try to understand like cross tab what is cross tab cross tab are nothing but an advanced table where two or more fields are tabulated tabulated against the other and are heavily used in survey research the goal of this tutorial is to show when to use table or cross tab so by reading this i will share this link and you will go through it but you know like we are going to understand where to use table where to use cross tab what are the test cases and things like that prerequisites in this tutorial we will use many feature of jasper studio and jasper report and many of these relevant features are explained in other tutorial to follow this tutorial we will suggest these two these two tutorials are there we will cover in future video but now we are we are only concentrated on cross tab so that is there so create the report so i have already done this for you guys but let's let's do it again so what I am going to do first thing is to do is to create a new report in Jasper studio you can do this by file then new then Jasper studio what this means I am going to explain here what it means like you have to go here file then you have to new this is Jasper studio you will click and a window will open up now what they are saying let me maximize this so they are asking us to use this particular thing so we will do that let's minimize and then we have selected this j let's go to documentation 
let's see use the cherry template so you here i would like to uh, take a little bit time and try to explain like these are all different kind of template you can see you have categories of template like all then a4 format it is divided into a4 format landscape format then you have report books then this then print ready report so we have now cherry a4 cherry or all you go and then you select this cherry and we have just selected this for the database adapter use a simple db jdbc connection that comes with jasper studio as a sql query discovering the field use the query so this is a very simple query let me select this no not all this query only and let me put here so you have selected this click on next jd xm jd is already there example let me put example name you can change maybe in documentation something will something different will be there that you can put it. see the documentation that is not a different you can put there whatever name you like to put so that is there now this is a data source data source what you are asked to do see here multiple data sources are present but we have to select which one we have given something like use same sample db sample db c where sample db is there sample db jdbc connection this one is there this one is same as here just see this okay now you we this is a query editor we have to put the query then we have to select this public table let's see then we have the query i have put this query so you see orders orders table is there then we then what we have been asked to do so now you will have the have a list now we will have the list discovered fields add them to the report like this you can see add them to the report these are five columns don't use group and complete the visa okay so let's go to the studio and do this go to the studio and next we have all these fields what are the fields we have been asked to add order date order id shipment name shipment address and shipment city so first order date and order id we can add order id order so you can do one add a order id you have added now order date is there add it shipment date is there add it shipment address shipment name is also there shipment order 
ID, shipment name, shipment address, shipment name, shipment address, shipment name, shipment address, shipment city. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five. So order date is there. Shipment date is not there. So shipment date we can remove it like this. Now one, two, three, four, five. So we have all. Uh, now we have all the fields that is required now it is done let's run the report so let's see what are the other thing is have been said okay you can test it by switching the preview tab and compiling the report if the compile is successful your result would look like okay so this is design tab and this is preview that is being asked us to do so let's see this is design and this is how our report look like so you have seen ideally it should be similar whatever you have seen see you have seen like this so first we have created this particular report till now we are here so other part we will discuss in next video if you guys like this approach do comment and let me know like you want this kind of video other please do what kind of video you guys like that you can comment you can comment your question as well we will try to discuss your questions and always related to jasper studio only because i am i have a little bit of knowledge in that area specific to that area only other tutorial if i will do then you can ask there as well so sql tutorial we will also start soon but right now we are focusing on this just for video that's all guys thank you hope you guys enjoy this session